some of your comic book readers know, we're expanding the Spawns universe. Going to be coming out with a bunch of new titles. If you take a look at all those characters on the screen, that's but a small hint of what we're going to be doing. Uh, the book could just come out. If you look at it, lots of cool stuff in here, lots of cool characters, right? Going to be able to get it. The question is, are we going to do some of these cool characters that are on the cover and on the comics? We're going to put them in plastic. The answer is yes, of course we are. So let's take a look at a couple of them. We've got coming out right here, a big bad gunslinger is going to be getting his own book in October. Uh, we came out with him years and years and years ago, but you're going to get him. You're going to have all the cool detail of all the things that make him look sort of awesome as a character. Got the spikes on the arms, got the chest markings, got the cool tall hat. Got all the bullets here, have the knives and the straps, look at the detail on the boots. And then you've got his pistols, again you can pull those out, they, they're in there pretty snug, but they do come out and then you can put those in his hands. And then on the back he gets the rifle, again comes in and out, uh, and you can put him in there and when he's all decked out he looks super cool. Uh, one of the other characters that's in the book, uh, Redeemer right here, close-up of the Redeemer who's going to be in the book. Uh, we're going to be coming up with him with his cool big wings uh, that are on there. There's going to be a couple versions of the wing colors of him. Here's the packaging you're looking at. Nice photo on the back. Uh, he's going to come, he's going to have his staff uh, and, and or his weapon uh, which is the big sword depending which one you're going to get here. So you can start building your own literally your own Spawn's universe. Uh, also, we have uh, one of the favorites from years and years ago when we first started the company, Raven Spawn. So Raven Spawn, again, is going to make his appearance. He's somebody, a throwback from the past uh, that has sort of a, I would say sort of an ancient look to him. But again, you're going to get all the same articulation. You're going to get the chain and the sickle. And then you're going to get the big staff and you're going to get all this other stuff. All the same articulation that we do. The scale's the same, seven inches. Uh, and where would we be without our friendly clown? He's a cool guy, looking good. La 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 la. Uh, a little bit smaller, obviously, just like in the comic book, than some of the regular figures. Um, but to make up for it, we then give him this big giant mess of weapons. And if you see how big this is, let's put those weapons literally next to a gunslinger. Uh, they're literally almost as big as gunslinger himself. Uh, so, by the time you take that, you can see there's a notch on the back. You put this on his back, and then all of a sudden, and these things sort of prop up. They're articulated, come way up high if you want, but now you can have a little bit of fun, and now all of a sudden he's as big as some of the other characters there. And if you want super big scale, on top of it, our little guy here, Clown, as you know in the comic book, turns into... Oh, violator, right? So the violator is going to come in its own big box. He's going to be one of our sort of 10, 12 inch figures uh, that comes out. You can be able to get him. You can see here how big he is in the box here compared to the regular figures so that we have a sense of scale. And then before any of you ask, look at that, look at the detail on him, it's cool. Uh, before any of you ask, question is yes whatever character that you didn't see will they be coming there's already three more that I haven't shown you yet we'll be doing that in the future of some of the other major characters that are on this cover here uh, and you'll hopefully get excited about what all those are so yes all those characters that are in this book eventually we're gonna make them in plastic and then you can begin your own spawn universe so you either can do it in paper or you can do it in plastic. Whatever your pleasure, we'll give you more news as it comes down. Thanks for the support. Welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update, just to kinda talk about all the new Spawn action figures. Just kinda give you a heads up, my thoughts, and I'll also have a look probably tomorrow at the figures that I really enjoyed from the old original Spawn line that coincide with this new wave of spawn figures. So I'll pull out a few and kind of contrast, compare, all that kind of stuff. I think it'll be kind of fun. But yeah, in celebration of, let's say, the Kickstarter, the success of the Kickstarter, 
Spawn being relaunched for Spawn Universe, all the new Spawn comic book tie-ins. Spawn is now in the 300s. It's really a new genesis for the Spawn character. Lots of different things. And also to kind of go with modern times. Everything has a universe now, right? We have Into the Spider-Verse. We have Venomverse. We've got all kinds of things where multiple characters it's it's fun to look at but at the same time the multiverse thing is still it's kind of getting out of hand right <laughs> i guess that's what they're going to be going with the new marvel phase 75 or whatever it is but with spawn with kind of collecting the old toys i really feel like it, it's it's fun and also at the same time it's like oh, have i been here before but the main thing is, is that I, again, I'm so happy that Spawn is back and we are getting new figures based off the Spawn character and that is really a lot of fun. So to kind of coincide with Spawn Universe uh, coming out, was it Wednesday, tomorrow, depending on when you see this, but uh, yeah, Wednesday the 23rd, the new Spawn line will consist of Raven Spawn. Raven Spawn back in the day did have a number of different figures, a number of different iterations of it, but the one original Raven Spawn was pretty much an exact look of this. The main difference that I'm seeing is that these are really now true, tried and true action figures, and that's really awesome, especially to bring in new fans to Spawn. The old figures, I'm going to tell you all day, and I think it'll be kind of interesting to kind of do this video and then have the new Spawn figures in hand, and then look back and say, oh, okay. So, really give you my thoughts on the fact of Raven Spawn was a great sculpt back in the day. And now to have all this added articulation, I think it's fun. But do do I really do I really need an articulate? See, that's what I mean. Like a lot of people say, I need articulation. I need all this kind of stuff. And that that's what I mean. That's what really brings in the new fans, people that have wanted this type of thing. So for me, when I finally have these in hand, I can go, oh yeah, well, this is better. Or, oh yeah, well, I still like my old one better, but I'll give it to them all day. I love the look of this Raven Spawn. I think that the chain, the sickle, everything looks really great on him. And I think that in all honesty, Pictures never do action figures justice until you finally have them in hand and you've been able to really look them over. So in that sense, I think this is going to be a really cool looking articulated Raven Spawn. The packaging on this, I really wish, like for instance, I, I would say that you call this the new Spawn line. I'm going to be calling it the Spawn Universe line because... When you say the Spawn line, that's the old Spawn to me. Sp say Spawn Universe, that brings it into the 2021s, and now you can really just know it, exactly what I'm talking about. So going forward, I'm going to call this the Spawn Universe line. Also, it's kind of fun, ties in with the comic book. The packaging is okay. Again, another thing to where I'd rather see it in hand to really go over it. Packaging, not a huge, huge deal, but I think it is something... The spawn packaging was always these big clamshells back in the day. So to kind of have it be coincide with, say, Marvel, the boxes of Marvel Legends, Black Series, things of that nature, the real modern looking action figure line, it's okay. But I would have liked to have seen Spawn go a different place or something to that degree. The colors, I'm glad they're all different for each iteration of Spawn and each and each uh, figure, especially the deluxe figures, which we'll talk about. But Still, it's a great looking figure, and these, by the way, are all up as we're seeing now. Target has them, not to say they're exclusive, although there is one Target exclusive, which we'll get it to in just a second, but these will run you $25 for the basic spawn figure line. So that's Raven Spawn, Gunslinger Spawn, and then the uh, Redeemer figure. So all of those available now if you want to get them off of Target, and they will be elsewhere later on. And just something to keep in mind, if you're new to McFarland Toys, if you're new to Spawn, if you're one of those people where, okay, I've never collected Spawn, what's the deal here? You're going to see a lot of repaints on this. And there are ones, I will just say, they are coming. <laughs> 
and it is not my reveal to say, but there are others that will be coming, repaints, yada yada. So in pure McFarlane Toys spawn fashion, you think you're just getting one version of the character? No. <laughs> but hey, you know what? That way you can pick and choose which colors, which variants, which ones you like. Moving on to the Gunslinger spawn. This has always been one of my favorite characters. I never got the seven inch art art of the spawn figure i got the larger 10 12 inch figure and i remember walking into toys r us and it was sitting right there and it was it was some deal i think it was it was so long ago but yeah i ended up going with that one and that one is a beautiful piece of art so for me now to have a gunslinger spawn that really you know comes with the pistols comes with the shotgun it's a more modernistic approach for this gunslinger spawn i really like the old west version of him i like that hat i know a lot of people like to say it's like a pilgrim hat but it's a very interesting looking spawn figure and that's what that's what really calls my name about it <laughs> this is the jeremy winston character in spawn lore and everything jeremy winston old west was friends with was it the great grandfather of al simmons or yeah something to that degree so he's a part of spawn in that sense but basically the same fashion guy dies comes back <laughs> is the spawn i like the weapon holsters on him everything fits snug he looks great this is one of those spawn characters that really deserves all that articulation because he's a gunslinger Wild Wild West. So in that sense, yeah, I'm very, very stoked on him. And again, he's available at Target. They're saying this is a Target exclusive Gunslinger Spawn. And like I said, if you know Spawn and everything else, I'm sure that this version of Spawn, this Gunslinger Spawn, is the Target exclusive. And to say whether or not it's a timed exclusive or if we'll go everywhere else... Y'all gotta have to wait to see what Mark Farland comes up with because at this point, yeah, they, a little bit more details would be helpful every once in a while. But if you want the gunslinger, Target is the place to be for now. Moving on into the Redeemer. The Redeemer is an interesting story, interesting colors. This is gonna be the more modern look for the Redeemer with the blues and the golds. The last Art of the Spawn figure, he got... Very pre-posed, wings outstretched. It's a gorgeous looking figure. I liked the original Redeemer, the anti-spawn, as he was known. He's been a number of different characters. Usually, it's, you know, in the first iteration, it's kind of like a no-name kind of guy. Jason Wynn was the Redeemer at one point. Who is it? Phil Temper, Eddie Frank, all those people. So, I really think to go back into Spawn lore and kind of think about it, until I read, like, the new Spawn universe, I'm going to say this is the Eddie Frank version, if I'm not mistaken, but he does look good. I really, again, I think along with the Gunslinger Spawn, I think that this is a character that really needs that articulation to really bring out all the different poses, especially with those gorgeous wings that he has. Comes with the Redeemer Sword, all that kind of stuff. It's, he looks fantastic so again with the photos i hope that he translates well and i i you know in terms of variants and stuff i really like the old-fashioned purple redeemer you know what i mean and i have a variant redeemer that i've had forever he's a white and purple so with the redeemer i'm gonna say this is kind of one of those characters where you could say this is the redeemer but there can be multiple redeemers so in that sense the variances they kind of add to it. You could have like a squadron of redeemers <laughs> in actuality. Also, to just point this out, whoever approved these photos, you didn't do the wiener check, like boing, 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 right? <laughs> just saying. Again, have Spawn back on the shelf and have a really gorgeous looking redeemer figure. I'm really excited for this guy. He looks fantastic. I think the packaging works really well on this guy actually to kind of go back and say you know the whites and everything else so it pops a little bit more the spawn logos in blue then it's in yellow so again really excited for this new redeemer moving on to the clown this is an interesting figure because first of all it's kind of like okay it, it is based off new artwork so in that sense i do like it the clown was a clown four 
the one that I have came with a pizza box and everything. That's like a perfect clown. Clown is, he's an interesting character. I think it's great to have all the extra articulation now to him. He looks a little bit movie-ish with the, with the shirt, right? To have kind of like, and <laughs> I'm going to call it right now. Nothing has been said, nor do I know anything, but watch them change the shirt on the clown. That's something they always did. They always used to change. They put a little print on it, put SDCC, you know, for exclusive, something like that. But this clown is very John Leguizamo-ish, and I like that, and I like the fact that he comes with a, a knife, and then he also comes with, like, a razor blade, you know what I mean? The guns on the back, he looks cool, <laughs> and that's one thing, oh, it looks cool, it's cool, comes with extra hands. The fact, he's very much, was it Spawn, the original Spawn Series 4, Spawn Series 4 clown had a bunch of guns, and different variances of that, different colored guns. So it's kind of like a retread. I can't tell you exactly what I want to see with a clown figure. There's so many different things you could do. Heck, I mean, you could put like violator attachments, all that's been done as well. I think that the best bet probably, yeah, to put all these guns all over. It's not my favorite look, but I am excited to have this clown in hand and really compare him with past clowns, to be quite honest with you. But in either case, I think the added articulation will add to this guy a little bit, but... The guns, I'm kind of, again, waiting till I have this guy in hand to really make a call. But if I look at it just in terms of the photos and everything, I'm kind of like, nah, I could have done without the, the guns. Just kept them as a basic figure because this guy, while the other figures will run you 25 bucks, this particular clown is going to set you back $40. So he's more of a, he's a uh, mid-level deluxe before we get to the super deluxe, we'll just say. The box is interesting. It's a true box box, rectangular box. And again, white. I like the artwork on the side. Again, more modernistic approach to clown. So in that sense, interesting to see. But if you kind of see on the artwork right there, that would have been something cool to, to have, right? To have his hands kind of twisting into violators, something to that degree. I'm glad he comes with extra hands. I really like the more melee weapons, you know, that he comes with, the knives and stuff. But the guns, now wait to see till I have him in hand. Which finally brings us to the alter ego of Monsieur Clown, the Violator. Of all the figures, I am most excited about this guy. This is the new type of Violator. The one, the way that they're kind of drawing him now. Violator was kind of absent for a while. Violator's always been a very skinny, very gaunt emaciated looking fleabiac bro, right? This new Violator works for me and it and it doesn't work for me in the sense of there are other plebiac brothers in that kind of family line. There's Vindicator, was it Vacillator, Vaporizer, Vandalizer, all the Vs, right? And Violator was always like the smallest. Now he's like the big buffed out Violator, which totally works in the sense of I don't have a big buffed out roided out Violator. So I like him in that sense. But yeah, Violator was always like the really skinny looking demon guy. But to have this guy in plastic now, I really like it. I really like that it's different. And I like that it's more based on the new artwork. It's figures I don't have, which is also very cool. So I will tell you all day, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a different variant of this guy at some point. He's on target now. He's going to run you 50 bucks. He's huge. 22 POA, much like all the other figures. And he's going to be like around the 12 inch mark and then some, especially when he stands up full. You know, he's kind of like on haunches. But I think the box is really cool. I love to see all the flames and the fire. It's a huge hulking violator. And he looks fantastic. Very, very stoked on this guy. Like I kind of said and touched upon in terms of variances, Todd McFarlane over on the Comic Crusaders podcast did an interview talking about all the new Spawn universe, and he showed off a really quick photo of a Redeemer variant. So again, much like the classic comics uh, series with the Redeemer, they did do a black and silver repaint, and based on this photo, looks like they're going to be doing another one. So again, with the Redeemer and how that kind of goes, I don't mind having several Redeemers because it's kind of like a, a Heaven's Army kind of thing, which is kind of cool. So put the Marvel Legends Angela in there. Kind of You can make up your own story. The Spawn story is all over the place, you know what I mean? But you can have some fun with it. 
I'm excited to see how these come out in true form when I have them in hand because all the years of collecting Spawn, these are retreads to things that I have had before, to things I have seen before, but they're also new and they're exciting. So again, saying what I'm saying now and then finally having them in hand, it's very exciting to me. The Raven Spawn, very cool. Love the face on that guy. He's going to be great. Gunslinger, Violator, Clown. Should be awesome. Should go great with our new Kickstarter spawns as well. And I wouldn't be surprised if they have some other figures coming up down the pipeline that you'll be very, very stoked upon. Maybe she spawn. Anyways, I'm going to... But I'm curious to know what you guys think about these new spawn figures. Are they for you? Did you pre-order? What do you think? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything spawn universe. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, read up on Spawn. If you've never read it, if you've never seen it, read. Or, I'm going to tell you all day, watch the HBO cartoon. God, that is so good. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Netflix, bring that cartoon back.